I'm Matthew White, I'm an art historian specialising in sculpture, and I'm a facilitator here at the Crawford Art Gallery in Cork. These sculptures form the centre of our collection here in the Crawford Art Gallery. Um, but you might wonder, what do these sculptures actually represent? Um, where do they come from? And, and why are they here? What role do they play? Well, these casts are replicas of original marble sculptures that date back over 2,000 years to ancient Greece and ancient Rome. And these originals are housed today in the Papal Collection of Antiquities in the Vatican Museums in Rome. The story behind this sculpture goes back to Greek mythology. Laocoon was the high priest of Troy during the Trojan War, and it's he who coined the term, beware of Greeks even when they could become bearing gifts. If we think of the Trojan horse, um, that model which was built by the Greeks to infiltrate the city of Troy to hide their soldiers, well, Laocoon warned the Trojans not to accept that gift from the Greeks because he knew the Greeks were playing a trick. And for this um, act of treason against the Greeks, the goddess Athena sent this serpent to devour he and his sons. And that's the moment that we're looking at here. You notice that the sculptors, three in this case, three sculptors from the island of Rhodes, chose that specific moment in the narrative, the moment where they're struggling with this sea serpent. The bodies twist and turn. You can see the muscles and the veins protruding. And it's often said by theorists that Laocoon himself omits the first audible wail in the history of art. 